At Rotana, we aim to ensure sustainable value in the countries where we operate. I'm Alexander Horaib, and today I'm going to highlight how Rotana continuously engages with surrounding communities through key investment initiatives to bring about economic sustainability. I'm joined here now with Mr. Guy Hutchinson, President and CEO of Rotana Hotels. Hello, Mr. Hutchinson. Hey, hi, Alex. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Join us in the pool. Absolutely. I'd love to jump in, but then this wonderful setup we've got going on just won't work. Can you tell me about some of the steps that you as Rotana take to ensure economic sustainability within the business, the hotels as a whole? You know, um, sustainability sits at the heart of everything that we do as Rotana. And, you know, and that word economic is absolutely important mm -hmm. because one of the issues or one of the ways to keep sustainability close to the objectives of the company is to make sure that it's economically sustainable. Exactly, so when yeah. you're dealing with other stakeholders or multiple stakeholders, it must be an integral part of the business and it must contribute to the business financially. Whatever initiatives we have, we look through the lens of sustainability. So when it comes to energy management, when it comes to building and construction standards, these are all the initiatives that contribute to making sustainability an integral part of how a company actually fundamentally operates. Tell me more about this the Darub nationalization program. How does it work? What is it for, for those of us who, who haven't been exposed to it or don't know what it is? Yeah, sure. You know, um, one of the things about us as a brand, and I think one of the things which differentiates us from competition, is how embedded we are in local communities. You know, and that is that has been our signature, it's been our DNA for a long time. More and more travelers as they pass through the world people want exposure to local culture because nobody can communicate their communities more passionately and more effectively. For example, in Saudi Arabia, 42% of our workforce are Saudi nationals wow. and, and growing. Bahrain, it's over 18%. Wow. Here in the Emirates, you know, we just launched our terror program, bringing Emiratis into management in our business. And if you want to really embed a property, a hotel, and really be able to manifest that local culture, we're a people business. Yeah. You have to do that through people. Absolutely. So just critical to how we work. Thank you so much, Mr. Hutchinson. Thank Absolute you, Alex. pleasure. There we go. There we go. <laughs>